Shofatim Judges 8. And the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why have you served us thus, that you called us not, when you went to fight with the Midianim? And they did chide with him sharply. And he said unto them, <clears throat> What have I done now in comparison of you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Avi Azer? Elohim has delivered into your hands Eth the princes of Midian, Eth Orev, and Eth Ze'ev. And what was I able to do in comparison of you? Then their anger was abated toward him when he had said that. And Gidon came to the Yardan and passed over. He and the three hundred men that were with him, faint yet pursuing them. And he said unto the men of Kukoth, Give, I pray you, loaves of bread unto the people that follow me, for they be faint, and I am pursuing after Zavach and Salmunah, kings of Midian. And the princes of Kukoth said, Are the hands of Zavach and Salmunah now in your hand, that we should give bread unto your army? And Gedan said, Therefore, when Yahuwah has delivered Eth Zavach and Eth Salmonah into my hand, then I will tear Eth your flesh with Eth the horns of the wilderness and Eth with briars. And he went up thence to Penuel and spoke unto them likewise. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Kukoth had answered him. And he spoke also unto the men of Penuel, saying, When I come again in peace, I will break down at this tower. Now Zavach and Salmana were in Kar-Kor, and their host was with them, about 15,000 men, all that were left of all the hosts of the children of the east. For there fell a hundred and twenty thousand men that drew the sword. And Gedan went up by the way of them that dwelt in tents on the east of Novach and Yochba'ah and smote at the host, for the host was secure. And when Zavach and Salmana fled, he pursued after them and took at the two kings of Midian, at Zavach and at Salmana, and discomfited all the host. And Gidan, the son of Yoash, returned from battle before the sun was up, and caught a young man of the men of Kukoth, and inquired of him. And he described unto him Eth the princes of Kukoth, and Eth the elders thereof, even threescore and seventeen men. And he came unto the men of Kukoth, and said, Behold, Zavach and Salmana with whom ye did upbraid me, saying, Are the hands of Zavach and Salmana now in your hand, that we should give bread unto your men that are weary? And he said, Rather, took Eth the elders of the city, and Eth thorns of the wilderness, and Eth the briars, and with them he taught Eth the men of Kukoth, and he beat down Eth the tower of Penuel, and slew Eth the men of the city. Then said unto Zavach and Salmana, What manner of men were they whom ye slew at Tevor? And they answered, As you are, so were they. Each one resembled the children of a king. And he said, They were my brethren, even the sons of my mother. As Yahuwah lives, if ye had saved them alive, I would not slay you. And he said unto Yether, his firstborn, Up and slay them. But the youth drew not his sword, 
for he feared, because he was yet a youth. Then Zavach and Salmanah said, Rise you, and fall upon us, for as the man is, so is his strength. And Gedan arose and slew Eth Zavach and Eth Salmanah, and took away Eth the crescent ornaments that were on their camel's necks. Then the men of Yashara'el said unto Gidon, Rule over us, both you and your son, and your son's son also, for you have delivered us from the hand of Midian. And Gidon said unto them, I will not rule over you, neither shall my son rule over you. Yahuwah shall rule over you. And Gidon said unto them, I would desire a request of you, that ye would give me every man the earrings of his prey. For they had golden earrings, because they were Yishmai Elim. And they answered, We will willingly give them. And they spread eth a garment, and did cast therein every man the earrings of his prey. And the weight of the golden earrings that he requested was a thousand and seven hundred shekels of gold, besides the crescent ornaments and collars and purple raiment that was on the kings of Midian, and beside the chains that were about their camels' necks. And Gidon made an ephod thereof, and put it in his city, even in Ophrah, And all Yashara'el went thither a whoring after it, which thing came a snare unto Gidan and to his house. Thus was Midian subdued before the children of Yashara'el, so that they lifted up their heads no more. And the country was in quietness forty years in the days of Gidan. And Yerabaal, the son of Yoash, went and dwelt in his own house. And Gedan had threescore and ten sons of his body begotten, for he had many women. And his concubine that was in Shechem, she also bore him a son, Eth, whose name he called Avimelech. And Gedan, the son of Yoash, died in a good old age, and was buried in the sepulchre of Yoash, his father, in Ophrah of the Avi Ha-Azrim. And it came to pass, as soon as Gidan was dead, that the children of Yashara'el turned again and went to whoring after Baalim and made Baal Barith their Elohim. And the children of Yashara'el Remembered not at Yahuwah Elohehem, who had delivered them out of the hands of all their enemies on every side. Neither showed they kindness to the house of Yerabaal, namely Gidan, according to all the goodness which he had shown unto Yashara'el.